Hey friends, happy Friday. So I wanted to share something with you. Um, I got triggered by something, someone this evening. And normally this is not what I would do. I was standing in my living room and I literally just said to myself, what am I going to do? And not necessarily about what I was triggered about, but I had a few hours that I would be on my own. And so it was okay. What am I going to do? And this was on the forefront of my mind, but I had also made a promise to myself that because I knew I was going to be home alone, I specifically wanted to spend time with me on myself. Whatever that meant, whether I was relaxing and reading or journaling or whatever it looked like. And what came out of my mouth kind of surprised me. I just saw one one a couple of seconds ago. Um, my voice said, we're going to work out. Which that, I can honestly say, that, not, that would not have been my go-to to what am I going to do. So that was kind of cool. I'm making a bowl. I don't have any quinoa, but that's okay. Because I'm still kind of feeling my lunch, which I did have quinoa at lunch. So I just wanted to get something in me before it got too late. Because for me, it's very important to not let my blood sugar drop. Or drastically increase. So I'm just going to throw together some broccoli. I'm just kidding. Um, broccoli with uh, red pepper and I have some ground beef that we cooked up the other night. I've got homemade dressing that my husband made and I've got some sunflower seeds, some hemp hearts, an avocado, and I'm cooking it in coconut oil, which I need more of. So I was extremely proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. Typically, if I was to be triggered, working out, as I said, would be the last thing that I would choose. But this time I put me first. And literally when my voice said, we're going to work out. I instantly followed up with, what? We're going to do what? I didn't flat out say no, but I told my mind, okay, let's, we'll think about it. And like, it's the end of the day, it's after work, go in, let's get out of your jeans and put on comfy um, pants. I walked into my closet and without even thinking, grabbed my workout shorts. So I went with it. And I can honestly say it was one of the best workouts I have, I have had. It was awesome. It was boot camp with Autumn. And it was um, week two on the all body block. Um, week two, day five. So I missed a day on Wednesday because I got to bed really, really late Tuesday night. And I've really leaned into not... Like I'm pushing myself, but I am not pushing myself beyond what I know is healthy. A couple years ago, I got injured and it was a bit later than now, but it was something that I allowed my emotions to take over and I was pushing myself and I was pushing and pushing and pushing and it wasn't healthy. So... Wednesday morning, I didn't have enough sleep. I definitely did not feel up to it. So I took it as a rest day. So I am now officially caught up in the body blocks, but I love today so much. I'm going to do it tomorrow on Sunday. So, and maybe even just a little bit more. I'm really enjoying getting back into, not even getting back into, actually loving my body, loving myself. I've never been someone until now 
that really, really enjoyed moving her body. I've, I enjoy weights and I think that's why I enjoy boot camp today so much. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying that I'm doing this for me. And I highly encourage you, if there's something that has been in the back of your mind and it's just, you hear it the odd time, maybe lean in and listen, whatever it might be. I even, I came home and when I got changed, my muscle was a little bit sore. I worked out this morning. Well, yeah, I worked out this morning. I worked out last night after work and Pilates moves can get you. Like they are good. When I was doing them last night, I was like, I'm not even really feeling this. Like, why aren't we doing a bit harder? Oh, I felt it. I felt it about an hour and a half later. Yep, it was there. And it's still here, I'm feeling it. So I put on deep blue before starting. I also put some breathe on my chest. And what came into my mind when I was thinking of breathe was breath. And I was feeling how I was triggered. I was feeling how I was triggered and I knew I had to breathe because there are times and watch yourself. Maybe not you're conscious of it right now, but become conscious of how do I breathe and then see how you breathe. Because you'll find when you get in certain scenario situations, you're suddenly holding your breath. So I have become very conscious of that. And so that's why I put the breath on or breathe on. Um, and I also put frankincense on my temples. And the reason I used frankincense is it's the oil of truth. And so I thought, okay, we're moving this through, which has worked beautifully. I love it. Um, we're moving this through. Obviously, I want the oil of truth, right? So as soon as I finished, I also put deep blue on my leg. Again, I will continue keeping it, putting it on. I'm going to put it on both legs, actually, um, just to support because I have now done, I worked it last night, this morning, and after work, and I don't want to push my body beyond and get myself into a situation where it's like, oh, now you can't work out because <laughs> that's no fun. So... I just wanted to share that with you that, and I also, so part of this trigger was earlier today. It just kind of ramped up, um, earlier in the week, I guess it was the other day. And so I also purposely tonight do something that, that, you know, lights you up. So I'm just learning that actually moving my body is something that is really, really good for me. My biggest passion is photography. And so I went on a tour tonight and got some really awesome water nature pictures. So those are my tips for you. If you're feeling triggered in any way, which we all can do something for you. So now I'm going to feed my body a very healthy meal and sit down and enjoy it and enjoy some more me time.